Welcome, 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 welcome. Hi, how's everybody doing? This is going to be a collective read. Welcome one and all. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notif notification to be notified of upcoming content on the channel. Disclaimer, readings are for entertainment purposes only. All divination is for entertainment purposes only. All tarot card readings are for entertainment purposes only. Please use your discernment when watching tarot or any form of divination across all social media platforms. When you are watching it, take the parts that fit, leave the rest because it may or may not resonate with you. These readings may or may not resonate with any or all people and they may resonate. It depends. Take the parts that fit, leave the rest. So we're going to look into the collective, okay, for the month of April. What's going down in April? What do we see for April? What is the message the collective needs to know concerning April that they do not know, that they do not see and are unaware of at this point in time? You're unaware of some sort of offer that's coming towards you here? But be mindful, it may be a fishy offer, a fake offer. Someone's going to come in acting like they're loving, like they're kind, right? But you need to use your discernment at this point in time. They're asking you to use your intuition. Someone got a moon in Pisces. This could be you or this could be literally who's coming towards you, whether this is a new person or an old person. This offer could be for a job or it literally could be a love offer, right? Or someone that wants to collaborate with getting you pregnant or getting pregnant by you. It depends. But it's fake nonetheless. Someone has some information that they want to come towards you as well and let you know that they are pregnant. But this is going to be a lie. This person is very emotional over you, whoever you are, that's th that they come to terms with trying to lie to possibly keep you uh, stuck to a, uh, what they think in their mind and what they perceive as a loving situation here. Someone's very introverted, a quiet individual here. They stay in their head a lot. This is an empath here, or you could be an empath here. But definitely someone's not calm about a situation here. So definitely, so I feel like someone's doing this to test the waters with you here. To see how you're going to feel about if they were to tell you like they're pregnant. Or if they're to give you this love offer. Whatever this offer is. It's going to mess with your emotions. But I feel like they're doing this because they want to have success with you here. But you're going to see through something concerning this person here. And you're going to be arguing with this person here. It's going to create a lot of conflict a lot of arguments here the 19th day of the month is significant this person may approach you on the 19th day of the month in april this is an april 2024 reading although there are no like there's no time stamps there's no time constraints uh time is indicative in these readings as past present immediate future near future distant future so it depends yeah someone's trying to trap someone in their head someone's trying to restrict someone here Someone may even feel trapped and restricted by this information that's coming out here. This could be a Leo who has a moon in Pisces. You could be a Leo with a moon in Pisces here. Jupiter and Leo. Sorry, Jupiter and Gemini. Definitely someone wants to come towards you. They're pregnant with a little boy. It's going to kick off into arguments, conflict, fight, disagreements. So it could be like someone coming towards someone and saying they're pregnant and the other person arguing with them, telling them that they don't want the kid, right? Or the other party could be arguing with them that they need to take care of this child. Either way, it looks like it's a lie. It's something fishy about this. It's really something fishy. I feel like it's just being told to you to keep you trapped in your head, whoever you are. Sorry about the lighting, y'all, if it seems a little too dark in here. Yeah, they're trying to cause conflict and restrictions. Because I feel like they see that you are positive, living... How can I say this? They're coming towards you because they see that you got your freedom. Okay. 
that you're confident, that you're happy. Whoever this is, is going to be all happy, happy, joy, joy. They're pregnant and stuff like that. But I guarantee you this is a fake-ass pregnancy here. And you're going to find out. And it's going to kick up into an argument that someone lied about being pregnant. Someone's completely lying. Pisces, moon and Pisces. Energy here. Yeah. To try to trap the king of pentacles. Aries, Taurus, cusp of air. Um, I want to say Aries. Could be Aries. Definitely Taurus energy here. Someone's got a Jupiter in Taurus, but... Whoever this King of Pentacles is, that's very stable, very secure, and very mature. So this could be a mature individual here that has someone younger than them. There definitely is an age gap between the two. But the younger party here is lying to a mature masculine here about being pregnant, hoping that this person, because they work and they make money, accept the fact that they're pregnant. Mm. So they can keep them trapped and stuck. They want them stuck. Stuck with them, stuck to them. Maybe stalking them too. Mm -hmm. This is someone that could be drinking while they're pregnant too. Whoever this is, it uh, definitely is using the fact that, they, oh, I'm pregnant with a little boy type of energy. Mm -hmm. It's a lie though. They ain't pregnant at all. At all. They're stuck in... A situation as to where I feel like they have to lie to whoever you are that make money and you work hard and it's, it's all for money I feel it's all for money this person is emotionally Im Im imbalanced they could also be mentally imbalanced here this person is definitely there's trouble coming to this liar you're lying about being pregnant you're going to be jumping out of the fire pan and getting right into the goddamn fire. And this, nothing's going to come to this situation here. Definitely this person also self-indulges. So if they got a little fupa and shit, it's due to the fact they drink a lot of beer and liquor. And they're using that fupa, that part of the belly that gets fat, and saying, yeah, that they're pregnant and shit. Someone could be born May 19th. <laughs> Someone could have had an affair with a younger person here, and the third this could be a third party saying this to get this person stuck. I feel like wh whoever's stuck. And problems and troubles that's coming around or coming back around. Whatever these problems and troubles are, is going to create a, a complete imbalance to whomever this is. There's a lot of discord over the re over the realization of what's uh, of the truth coming out. Basically, a revelation, the truth being told. With some card here to the Temperance card reverse here, Sagittarius, and then we got Taurus energy here as well. Heavy Taurus energy, too. Heavy Discord. Someone's reckless because they moved in a hasty fashion here. Concerning lying about a pregnancy here. And it's kicking up conflict. Once someone finds out, or it could be a whole group of people finding out, someone literally could be wanting to get a DNA or some type of result. To prove this person pregnant, or to prove they the dad, or if this person is pregnant, I don't know. Whatever this result that's gonna come out is gonna come out that this person's a liar. Mm -hmm. Whoever is pregnant is in their feelings. If someone is pregnant, I, I keep getting energy like. I just keep getting the energy that someone's freaking lying, y'all. Lying. Lying about being pregnant, huh? Just so you can keep someone stuck with you. If someone doesn't want to be with you, please don't keep them stuck to you with lies and deceit and deception. For the simple fact, it's always going to be disharmony. There will always be lies. Uh, there, There's always being lies with this. But what I want to say is, there will always be conflict and discord. The person is going to hate you even worse. 
Okay. We got a hierophant here right next to the temperance, but the temperance is reversed. Then we have the eight of swords. It's like someone's creating conflict to get someone locked up. It's like someone finding out someone lied about a pregnancy. Because whoever the king of pentacles is, king of pentacles is could have spent a lot of money on someone claiming that they have a son or is pregnant with a son. This king of pentacles being very logical as they are, they all about their money, their dough. They possibly found out the truth with the sun card here next to that damn page of cups. And they found out the truth and it kicked up into domestic dispute here where someone's getting locked up. It looks like the King of Pentacles is like mm, getting locked up right at the house here. Now, it's so funny because these two could be married already. Or this could literally be someone's friends with benefits. You know what I'm saying? It's like friends with benefits here. And because this person is such a liar, they're going to miss their opportunities, business and personal, to have an honest connection with the King of Pentacles here. They're going to miss out. And it's someone from their past. This is someone from their past. Page of Cups, Pisces energy is from their past. King of Pentacles from their past. It's like someone going back to the drum board, going back to the past, of course, and telling someone, hey, I'm prego, prego, prego. Someone's releasing someone is very toxic. So I feel the person with the Piscean energy here, they're toxic. Uh, Sun and Scorpio. It could be Scorpio. We got Scorpio Capricorn here. Someone's being released. Someone that is toxic is being released. They're being released. Yeah, this is a friend from someone's past. What else? Someone's born May 15th. What else? No one's happy about this. So this uh, King of Pentacles ain't going to be happy about it. Mm. Someone's drinking a lot. Someone's getting rid of someone who's an alcoholic. Someone literally could have met someone from their own hometown, whether that city, state, or country. Someone that they knew in the past. They could have been childhood friends that grew up together. But see, here's the thing. People have this great perception that um, the person that you grew up with in childhood is still the same person as an adult. It's not. Life happens to everybody on this planet, and people change either for the better or for the worse. They're not always going to be that same because in childhood, you're innocent, right? But as you reach free adolescence, there could be certain turn of events in people's life that could be very traumatic and devastating. Not saying it happens all the time to everybody, but certain people out there, they get hit by life. You don't know what that person uh, has been through. And you're not seeing things in a brighter perspective because you're wearing rose-colored glasses on still thinking... Oh, that person's the same way as they were when they was like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They are not. If something has drastically occurred in this person's life to cause or create a traumatic event and experience for them, they have changed. They are not what they were when they were younger. Just know that. So I feel like someone went back to the past. But I feel like they're releasing that past. Someone's releasing the past here. Someone's in their head about a lot of toxicity here and what they let go of. Again, someone's like, oh, someone who is very toxic, alcoholic, someone who drinks a lot, someone who's causing, who, who is causing them to be stressed out and burdened. They release that. They release those burdened sun and Aries. Someone had the foresight to move on, let go and move on. What else? Moon card. Mm -hmm. Someone's secretly planning something May 18th. This is all Taurus energy. 
behind the scenes traveling. Someone's traveling in secret. As they release this toxic energy or this toxic devil in their life that was an alcoholic. Archangels and spirit guides. What else we got here? Six of Pentacles here. They even took their money and moved on. <clears throat> Definitely someone received a love offer from a friend or a childhood friend from their past or a past ex of theirs that they went back to. This was something that was planned. Someone was in the cut watching before they made the move to come in with this offer here, which, by the way, is a fake offer. Again, I feel I get the energy of fake pregnancy here with that fish in that cup. It's like someone got someone to stay with them and say, yeah, I'm pregnant with a little boy because, I don't know, maybe boys are not more important than girls to somebody out there. I don't know. A child is a child. I don't give a fuck what your gender is. Um, are they healthy? That's what matters. I feel like there's an imbalance here. Someone came in and created a complete imbalance to somebody here. But I feel like that devil energy that came in to create all this conflict, strife, and jealousy has been released. It's been released. Taurus energy here. Capricorn energy. Someone has Taurian and Capricornian placements in their natal birth chart. They have Taurus and Capricorn in their birth chart. Um. Yeah. And whoever this is that was younger, that the both of you, that this person was dealing with, there was always a lot of arguments between them. Someone, hold on now, someone behind the scenes is locked up in jail because of it. I feel like someone was drinking and put their hands on somebody and got locked up at the house here. And now somebody, they may have a friend or somebody that's um, going to bail them out. Like, literally. But there's a lot of burdens and a lot of stress. Put on the King of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, yeah, someone's bailing somebody out of jail because of this. Yeah, it kicked up fights and arguments. Someone thought they would be slick. to say that they were fake. You know, that they were pregnant, but it turned out to be a lie. It created a whole uh, conflict here. Like, domestic dispute, domestic violence, and things S escalated because once this person found out what was going on it escalated to a point like i feel like someone can't stand liars someone put their hands on someone and i don't condone that but it did happen because of someone's mouth they mouthpiece they were a liar lying about being pregnant with a little boy and um this person got upset put their hands on them and ended up in jail and they have a friend in the cut that uh a co-worker of these possibly that's coming to bail them out of jail okay Willing to accept the fact that they're going to bail them out of jail. Five of Swords reverse. They can no longer block this person to keep this person with them. Someone's soul searching here. Emperor reverse. Someone realizes someone was abusing their power and their authority in order to gain some sort of success and victory with them. They ain't regret now. Someone regrets dealing with that person here. They're talking about it to somebody here. They're talking regretting about a son or news or, or receiving news or information about a son. Again, someone standing in their true king of swords came right out. It actually popped the fuck out, so I'm going to take it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Someone lied to gain success and victory over somebody here because they see that this person stands firm. This is a real man, real woman, a real hard worker. And so they were trying to attach this person's wallet. What? Child, please. Child, please. I heard chartreuse. So chartreuse could be very significant. It's a certain color. I think it's part purple, part pink, or something like that. Yeah, King of Swords here, the truth. The truth. The truth is coming out more than once to this person. There will be a, pre a peaceful resolution. This person is going to be able to move on. 
once they figure out the solution to the situation concerning this little liar here, they're going to find out the truth. They're going to stand in their power. Who's going to accept you lying about being pregnant? Make that make sense. Someone has lung cancer from smoking too much. It could be that King of Pentacles. Hidden knowledge. This person is a high priest. You can't lie to a high priest or high priestess. They're going to fucking know. And I don't care if this high priest drinks a lot or not. That's neither here nor there. I feel like this high priest that drinks a lot, they be knowing a lot of shit. They be knowing a lot of shit. Someone's a dog sitter here. Someone has sad eyes. Those those big droopy eyes here. Okay. They could have been dealing with a Virgo. I'm moving these for a reason. Give me a second. Yeah. Because we have September 18th. September 4th. September 5th. September 19th. You feel me? You feel me? September 15th. Should have swatched out that number already. September 14th and 15th. Okay. September 14th and 15th. Then we got April 14th, April 15th, April 9th, April 5th, April 19th. So we definitely have like Aries, Virgo energy. Taurus energy. Child, look. Y'all messy. Again, someone got sad eyes. Someone's a dog sitter. They could be a dog walker. Again, whoever this person is, they have hidden knowledge. This person with, uh, mm. Holy Spirit, okay. Archangels and Spirit Guides. Sometimes the energy moves so fast, like blah, 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 and my words will mumble. I kid you not. Uh, someone has a pointy, keen nose. So this is someone that could be uh, Italian, Caucasian, or Hispanic here. This person could be white. Someone loves to eat a lot of fruits, natural fruits, organic fruits. Someone could work for a light company. Uh, Con Edison, PSENG, um, yeah, light company, any type of light company. Mad at you because you don't want to play mind games anymore. So whoever the younger energy is, is mad at this king of pentacles or this mature masculine energy because they ain't got time for the shit. Lightning gonna strike a tree wherever they live at. As the bitch play too much. Someone has low cheekbones. Someone has high cheekbones. Lip gloss and long fingernails. Lip gloss and long nails. Someone could be going to blonde in their eyes. Someone better get their eyes checked, get laser surgery or something before you go blonde. Someone's losing their hair, alopecia. Alopecia. Someone has low white blood cells, low white blood cells or platelets. Someone could be a jewelry store owner. I'm telling you. Frozen. This person stopped giving to whoever this is. I'm telling you. Vanity, because they vain. It's all about the look for them. Whoever this is, they all about their hair and their nails. How they look. Is their lips juicy looking enough? Is they got duck lips? You know what I'm saying? If they wear these type of clothes, what the clothes look like on them. This is someone that's constantly in the mirror. I'm sorry. I would never, ever keep looking in no goddamn mirror knowing to support them. Anywho, crazy. What else, Holy Spirit, Archangel, Spirit, guys? If I close out this reading, yeah. Works at an amusement park. Someone is an amusement park worker. You could work at Disney World, Great Adventures, Six Flags, Legoland, Super Mario Brother, Nintendo. That's a theme park over here in California. Or it's at Disney World. Either way. I saw that one too. Someone, if you're going to go on a cruise ship or, or are planning to go on a cruise ship, it will get stuck in the ocean. 
Cruise ship stuck in the ocean. Someone could work for a cruise line. Someone loves shopping a lot. So if you're just masculine and you had some chick tell you she's pregnant with a little boy, she not. If you find yourself, and you, you'll be able to tell because this person, they're going to be shopping for everything. But it won't be for anything for a baby. It'll be for like their hair, their nails, their clothes, their shirt. And they'll use every excuse in the book to be like, oh, but I need this because cause they're not pregnant. Someone to be like, they're drinking milkshakes because they needed to breastfeed this little baby of days that they think they got. I copy you because I am you. Someone swears up and down by copying you. They're ste literally stepping in your energy being you. Okay? These hoes ain't loyal. This person lied about being pregnant. And in turn, they going to get pregnant by somebody's friend or their friend. And then they're going to blame you that you're the daddy. So Y'all men be careful. Get DNAs. Okay? Get a DNA test. Don't be so desperate to have a child because you want one. And you're just accepting this hoe's attitude and how this hoe going to treat you. Because if they're cheating on you with someone of your friend's group or outside of that, and they're telling you that you're the dad and you fucking not, even after that baby born and it's not yours and you find out through a DNA, they still going to be fucking around on you. And then you're going to catch HIV. High speed car chase here. Someone's a criminal. They put you on an altar, masculine. This chick got an altar. Someone's a skinwalker here, shapeshifter. That's, skinwalkers are high power witches that are able to shapeshift. Angels stopped listening long ago to whoever this is or whoever you are because you're doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. They're no longer going to help you. They turned their back on you. God has turned their back on you too. So I feel like whoever this young person is, they're damned to damnation. Whatever it is. And then demons want retribution. Someone was using black magic. They were using black magic. Someone here is an enlightened one. They can't be touched. Whoever this is lying about being pregnant, they hate children. They only want to get closer to your wallet, decrease credit credit score. This person ain't got good credit. Warehouse worker. Someone could also be a warehouse worker. Freak on. I'm channeling Missy Elliott. Get your freak on. Get your freak on. Dun, 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 dun. Someone here is a freak. They nasty. Freak nasty. Freak offs. Very nasty. You nasty. No judge, but you are nasty. Okay? If that's what you gonna do, do you we're gonna be nasty? Someone needs to get a wax, a Brazilian wax or a manzilla, a masculine wax, because you need to shave between your legs, y'all. It's gonna start bacteria is gonna start sprouting out that motherfucker. Someone needs to see an eye doctor here, or they could work for one. Whoever is going to get pregnant. And this ain't by the King of Pentacles. The real dad is a broke motherfucker. And the King of Pentacles will find out. That's what's going to kick off when those uh, test results come in the mail that he is not the father. All right? Your newborn going to be in the knee queue because it's sick. Because you drinking. You are out while you're pregnant. Whoever you are. Drinking a lot. Stop doing that. This is something that will occur. What else? Holy Spirit, our games of spirit, guys. There's a major life shift coming. Do you have a major life shift coming here? Rejection is God's protection, King of Pentacles. You're getting a pardon from the universe. Coven patronizes you to cause you confusion here. Okay, there's a whole group of people here that's coming towards someone and giving them money. But it's only to cause them confusion. Someone's a parking lot attendant. Someone could be a fisherman. I, I read for worldwide, okay? Someone could be a fisherman. Someone is a, works at a museum. They are a museum worker. Someone's name is Brian. Someone could be a brain surgeon. Someone could be a pharmacist. 
someone works at the horse ranch, horse stable, equestrian worker. That's where horses are. Someone works at an observatory. Someone could be a farmer. I feel like angels, angels, angels are protecting a light being here. What else, Holy Spirit? Did money rituals to block your money? Yeah. This person was messing with your money, your finances, so that you don't move forward. Or they could have been messing with someone in the collective's money trying to block it. Child, get you this, this transador or blockbuster block removal, remove all blocks, and then get you high John the Conqueror. All you need to do is mix that shit together with money oil to unblock your money and put that on a freaking blockbuster candle. Or you can put it on a money candle. Okay? Send those blockages right back. Yeah, so someone about to get a rude awakening. They will get money from this masculine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I hope this helps.